If your life was a movie and it started now, what would the hero of your life's movie do right now? Do that. Do those things. You can choose to be inspired. You can choose to be the hero of your own movie right now. You better go out there and do it yourself. You know, don't wait around and wait for someone to hand deliver something. Go make it happen. You know, the fish don't just jump in the boat. If you want to go catch them, go catch them. You know, throw that line in the water and go do some work. And if it doesn't work that day, do it again the next day. Don't half-ass it. Don't half-ass it. Boy, that never goes out of style, does it? I mean, think about it. If you're going to do something, if you've chosen to do something, whatever it is, easy, hard, if you give it your all and you don't half-ass it, win, lose, draw, get what you want, don't get what you want, whatever the outcome is, at least you're not going to have to wonder, oh, would the outcome have been different? What if I did give it my all? And boy, wondering that is what keeps us up at night. The question is, are you done yet? Are you truly finished with what you came to do? Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. A lot of you are not done. Eventually we're going to die. But our legacy can live on. The impact can be non carousable forever. But it's got to be built right. we got to take advantage of the time we have right now. If you want it bad enough, you find a way. If you don't want it bad enough, you find an excuse. But where do you go to? You wake up on the morning, it's cold, it's mm -hmm. wet, it's dark, you've got no cartilage in your knee, you've mm -hmm. got shitty shorts, whatever it is that's the issue today. Keep talking. It's warm on the couch. That's your it. missus says stay in bed. It. It's comfy, that's it's it. cozy. God, I know every mother ain't gonna do what I'm gonna do. That's how you level up. Because I know there's so many people that have the ability and just refuse to get off that couch. Your tired body, that unmotivated mind, and get out there and do it anyway. You know, you better fight yourself because you're not only winning when things are going your way. You got to figure out how to win when things aren't going your way. You got to figure out when your body's fighting you, when your mind's fighting you. How do you still, you know, just say, F it, I'm going to, I'm going to beat my mind today. And these people that don't want to, Stay home, man. Stay home and, and, and do your thing. Good luck to you. I wish you all the luck in the world. There's going to be a small group of hungry savages out there that are going to run every one of you over. I tell kids all the time, if you even have this much savage in you, everything out there right now is for the taking. From the time I was 15 till I was 21, I was obsessed. I, I trained all day, every day. I mean, that's what I did. I basically lived there to find my life. Yeah. I mean, I've had a good life. I've had a good life through obsession. Imagine obsession. spending 10 years of your life only thinking about one thing every waking hour of the day. We agreed not to drink. We didn't do drugs. Like, we didn't date. We didn't do anything. We just literally obsessed from the time we woke up to the time we went to bed. That's literally all we did. Interested is a hobby. Kobe Bryant was not interested in winning championships. He was obsessed. And I have a saying, interested people watch obsessed people change the world. The thing is like, you're an idiot until you're successful. Then you're smart, whatever, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's just, at some point you cross that tipping point and people go from judging you and being like, you're too obsessed with your freak, blah, 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 to yeah. like, oh, like, oh, congrats. All parents should tell their kids they can be whatever they want. But after that, they should tell them that you have to live every day uh, if you want to. You have to work every single day. You have to embrace the suck. You have to embrace the failure. You are not. You can't be anything unless you work every single day. And, uh, you know, that should be the second thing that they're saying after they tell them they can be whatever they want. I hope every one of you behind the screens on this arena can feel this level of happiness just one time in your life. I hope all of you can feel how happy I am just one time in your life. But guess what? You will never feel this level of happiness if you don't go for something in your own life. When they knock you down, when they try on you, when they talk about you, and they try to put their foot on your neck. If you stay down, you will never ever get that resolve. Don't listen to anyone. Everybody's full. Nobody knows you or what you're capable of doing. And once you figure that out, you wake up every day and you work toward it. That's what you do. It's impossible for you to fail 
if you know who you are, what you want to do, and you wake up every day and work toward it. You're all in. All in, yeah. So what's your more? What's your, 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 your destination? And I'm not talking about just more money or more things. I'm also talking about more love, more joy, more choice, more balance, more trust. What's your more? Every morning I woke up, I want to quit. During runs, I quit. During my diet, I quit. During swims, I quit. I quit every single day. What kept me going, do you want to be on your deathbed knowing that you could, but you didn't? You say, Dwayne, what if I'm so far away from my dream now that I die before I actually reach it? Die on the road. Die on the road. Go to your dream. And if you never make it, at least you will finish this world going somewhere, not just setting, saying, man, if only, if only. There are no if onlys. There is, what are we going to do now? You only have to be right one time. You don't have to figure it all out in advance. You can be wrong, you can pick the wrong career, you can pick the wrong job, you can pick the wrong spouse, you can pick the wrong whatever. But you get it right one time, you're set. But if you don't try, and if you don't go out there and try all those different things, you'll never get that one time. You know what doesn't feel good is not taking any risks. Sure, like sure. That, that is, is so boring. And like, I'm very in belief that fear is such a guiding thing in, in life. The more you do the things you're afraid of, the more you see that what you're afraid of is all bullshit in your head. Whatever I'm afraid to do, I do it. Anything I'm afraid of, I, I, I confront it. And that's my personality. Like right now, I'm, fr I'm scared to death. And in reality, I'm invincible. You want to be that one mother that every day, whether it's raining, snowing, sleeting, you lost every dime, you come and you bring the energy that it takes at the highest level every day. That's the person you want to be every day of your life. Just keep going. It's going to feel like there's a lot of downs and ups in this game, and you just got to keep on grinding, you know? A lot of people think success is just this steady incline of going up, but it doesn't. Real success is up, down, left, right. Just keep pushing, you know? Just keep striving for greatness. Find someone who has a life that you want and figure out how they got it. Read books, pick your role models wisely, find out what they did and do it. Build confidence and momentum with each good decision that you make from here on out. Write down your goals, write down things you want to improve, write down things you won't tolerate from yourself. You can do it. Anyone can do it and go forth from here as the hero of your own movie.